I will own that I did not compose this. However, it was in the family. This is a letter from my naughty, rather spicy, great uncle, William of Aquitaine. <laughs> <laughs> Beloved niece, under the sun I ride along and tell this story in a song. Ladies, there are who do great wrong. I mean such dames as turn a cruel and heedless ear to lovers' claims. Those who dally and demure, and on their nights no grace confer, do mortal sin. Worse, I judge her that loves a priest. By right, she should be hunted down like any beast. But hear me, silent and discreet. Through our Auvergne, mild and sweet, I rode and happened there to meet Sir Gwen's dame and Bernard's too. They spoke me fair and asked my name. Good save you, pilgrim, as you fare, thus cried one of the comely pair. Gentle you seem and debonair, if I may judge. Yet many vagabonds and rogues are highway trudge. Now, mark the style of my reply. I spoke no truth. I told no lie. But answered only with a sigh. I had a plan. <laughs> then said Dame Herbess in glee to Lady Agnes, Mute is he. Let's take him home and lodge him free. When we're alone, such sport as we'll devise with him will ne'er be known. <laughs> so then one cast her mantle o'er my back and through her chamber door led me, and I could ask no more. A cozy fire burned in the hearth. A man had all he might desire. A lordly meal did they prepare. <laughs> and two fat capons were my share. <laughs> all hotly spiced. The wine was rare. And all for me. No steward served, no cook was there. But just we three. Sister, this fellow is too shy to say a word while we stand by, lest he be scheming sly. Let our cat come. I'll warrant we shall straightway learn, if he be dumb. So Agnes went to fetch the cat. Ne'er had I seen a beast like that. I fell to trembling where I sat, and with good cause. Long whiskered was he big and fierce with cruel claws. Those prudent ladies first undressed me, their mute and unsuspecting guest. Then on his back the cat they pressed, the talons ripping down my flank from haunch to heel as Agnes dragged it by the tail my body's length, I felt each nail, and with the anguish I turned pale, yet stood all meek. By God, they could have flayed me there ere I would speak. Sister, I heard Dame Agnes say, he's mute indeed. I think we may prepare ourselves for sport and play. Call the bath hot. More than a week I spent with them. Such was my lot. <laughs> now hear the tally I'll relate. A hundred, four score, and eight. We baked. And a woeful state they left me in. With harness torn and broken blade. I twas a sin. Dear girl, if I feel no worse, tomorrow take this little verse to those fair ladies with my purse and tit for tat ask them 
in memory of me to kill that cat. <laughs>